guys, so I was wanting to do my next art project and I was thinking of doing Momichi from Fruit Basket and I thought that it would make a good YouTube video for me to uh, take them apart and go over what I would be transferring to my paper from the screen. So let's get started. So what I usually like to start with when I'm doing my art is the eyes. I always like to focus on the eyes because they're a vocal point and they're kind of a good center or medium for where um, the body and the face start. You can line up everything with the eyes. Now in this specific picture it would be a little tricky because as you see how... Hmm, can I like somehow... I guess not. I can't have a pen. All right. Let me, do, let me do this. Here we go. Yeah, this works. So let me grab the pen over here. Zoom in. So usually when I'm drawing you would you have your circle for the head, correct? And then you have your sphere like that. But as you look, the eyes go at a slant. And the center here is the center of the face. So I would draw that line at an angle, which kind of offsets the whole thing a little bit. But um, let's go into the eyes. So when you're looking at the eyes, usually the pupil of the eye would be black, but actually surprisingly you have several shades of brown here. You have a light brown down at the bottom. You have some green in the center. You have some red over here on the left, along with your dark shaded in brown at the top, all while being lined with a dark brown line. And then you have your eyebrows. Eyebrows for me tend to be difficult to draw. I don't know why, but I can never get the shape right. So that's generally what I like to do with the eyes. Then from there, I'd probably move on to the face shape. Because I then have the eyes done, I'd be able to get a rough sketch of the jaw. Which I, yet again, going back to the general thing right here. Um, you'd see I just start the jaw down there. Go back a little bit. And then I would work my way around. Yeah, let me just put that circle back there. So you always draw your circle. And then working from the circle, you'd then work your jaw around the circle. You don't... This is, this is something that I struggled with. Is that I was trying to... When I was learning, I would have the main circle. And I would try to, I don't know, morph the circle into the face, not make the face of the circle, if that makes any sense. Ugh, why is it doing all that? I just want to get rid of the lines. Here we go. Yeah, look, I have an eraser tool. Nice. So, that's what I would do there. So... Then moving on, I would probably do the hair. Now I've never drawn this type of hair, so that would be something new for me. But I would tear apart the colors the same as I would the eyes. Um, I hope this would be helpful for anyone who's trying to get into drawing. Um, but if you want me to go more into detail or do something more like this, let me know.